to introduce investment programs, which I think if they go to the president's desk and they are signed, that would be a real big boost for, for to it. So if you look at when the president came in and we wrote at that time, the expectations from Africans were, were not well placed. Uh, I think that's the point. What Africans were expecting and what the president could do just because of the background and the connection with Africa, those were misplaced expectations. That's what I've been uh, saying. But I also think even with the budget constraints, I think <coughs> the, the president can still do more. He mentioned something yesterday. He said that you take investors, you go anywhere in the world uh, where uh, he can get markets for, for, for Americans. And I think if he does that, and that's one of the things we've been advocating, take a trip like the, the, the ASEAN sector is doing to Africa, go there with investors. Don't just go with government officials. Go with the people who want to invest. And that exchange is mutual. It's not aid. It's, it will benefit America. It will, be, it will create jobs here. And that's why China is, is doing OK. I'm not going to put that in comparison. But the investment climate has been improving. But, uh, uh, and and we, we would think that even American businesses should be able to do, to do better. We need to do more as Africans in terms of the investment climate. But America can actually benefit, can create jobs by investing in Africa.